Chapter 819 Argent White Sword and the Lightning Source Lin Ming didn't dare to step into the 100-mile range of the Thunder Dominion. He only released a wisp of his perception to investigate the area. He discovered that the closed-off force field in the 100-mile range was already twisted to the point of tearing, with large and small invisible space cracks flooding the entire area. If a general life destruction martial artist were to come here, then forget about those quietly terrifying thunderballs. But just those space cracks would prove fatal. Lin Ming carefully manipulated his perception to bypass every thunderball, giving them all a wide berth. If his wisp of perception were to accidentally touch them then it would be burnt to absolutely nothing, as his perception made its way deeper. A shocking matter occurred. He discovered that 100 miles high in the skies of the Thunder Dominion, there were actually islands floating in the air. These islands were only several miles wide but they looked like immortal paradises pulled out from fairy tales. There were floating islands above the Thunder Dominion? How were they even floating in the air? Lin Ming was awed. The operation of laws here already surpassed the scope of his understanding. Then, as he used his perception to investigate the islands, he discovered something else alarming. On top of these islands there were actually trees. These divine trees were scarce. It was hard to find even a single tree on a floating island. But, they existed safely within the floating thunderballs, even absorbing the power of the thunderballs. There were spear trees growing 100 miles into the Thunder Dominion. Lin Ming gulped. He had once collected violent electricity spirit bamboo from Thunder Crash Mountain. But when that was compared to these spirit trees, the difference couldn't even be described with clouds and mud. Just how many years had these spirit trees existed for? If he cut one of these down and returned, just what rank of heavenly material would it be? Lin Ming. Those look to be magnetic god trees. Hey, don't look at me. I'm just making a guess. Where would I have the chance to see something like that? I've only heard of some descriptions. Within the realm of gods, only the large sects would have something like this. I really have no idea why they would grow in the Sea of Miracles Thunder Dominion. Demon Shine was puzzled. The Sea of Miracles was a mystic realm that simply shouldn't exist in the Sky Spill Continent. Lin Ming suppressed his thoughts of rushing up and trying to cut down a few trees, not to mention those floating thunderballs. But even these magnetic god trees themselves were strangely dangerous. They contained an immeasurably horrifying power of thunder within them. If his cultivation was lacking then he feared that just by approaching these trees he would be vaporized to ash just by a few rays of magnetic god light they would casually release. Moreover, even if this magnetic god tree that was rare even in the realm of the gods just nicely lay there and let him chop at it, he still might not be able to cut it down. When I reach the divine sea, I'll come and see if I have a chance. If even the divine sea isn't enough then I will wait until my cultivation rises even further after ascending into the realm of the gods and then come back to investigate again. In any case, this thunder dominion mystic realm would not disappear. Lin Ming believed that the Divine Sea Supreme Elders of the Sky Spill Continent would never come up here, disregarding those spirit islands that contained an alarming amount of energy. There might not even be anyone capable of standing anywhere nearby like how he was right now. As Lin Ming was lost in thought, he suddenly heard a loud scream as if a wild animal was roaring. Is that a living being? Lin Ming was greatly surprised. Anything that could survive in the 90-mile zone of the Thunder Dominion had to be an absolutely terrifying existence. The only reason he was able to stand here was because he relied on the heretical god Sprout. If this other party were to be standing here by virtue of their strength alone then it was highly likely they were a divine sea level being. Lin Ming was shocked. He traced his spatial ring and restrained all the energy within his body, keeping complete vigilance of his surroundings. That's not right. That isn't a living creature. That is. A thunder soul? Lin Ming felt his heart grip and dread. A thousand feet far away, he could see a small purple lion only several feet long. He could clearly feel a pure power of thunder exuding from its body. Moreover, besides the power of thunder, there were no signs of any other energy. This was a clear indicating sign that only thunder souls had. But looking at this small lion's appearance, it seemed incomparably real. Every hair and line was clear and solid, as if it had absolutely no distinction from an ordinary lion. How was this like a thunder soul? It was clearly a living lion. This is, Lin Ming, that is a thunder source. Demon Shine's voice burst out, his tone tinged with panic and fear. So it was, Lin Ming's pupils shrank. Above a flame essence was a flame elemental, and above a thunder soul was a thunder source. Thunder source, an origin of thunder. Even the worst thunder source was at least ten times more terrifying than any existing thunder soul. Currently, the heretical god sprout within Lin Ming's body could resist the might of a top grade heaven step thunder soul. But facing a thunder source, it simply had no ability to resist. A top grade heaven step was already intelligent, and a thunder source was naturally more so. Moreover, this was the 90 mile zone of the thunder dominion. This thunder source could draw upon the infinite power of thunder here. Lin Ming didn't even believe he had the slightest chance of victory. Lin Ming's mind was completely focused on the heretical god sprout as he slightly traced his spatial ring. In front of this beautiful spectral lion, he was in an absolutely dangerous situation. Once this thunder source gave birth to the thought of eating him then he could only engage in a last ditch death struggle. Ra the purple lion issued a bass roar, its amber eyes flashing with fear. Lin Ming was startled. Was this purple lion afraid of the heretical god Sprout? No. Lin Ming discovered that further off in the Thunder Dominion, just several hundred feet away from the purple lion, there was also a mass of purple that was exuding incomparably pure energy. As he looked more carefully he could see that it was actually a sword. A four foot long sword, its blade shining with a cold light. Arcs of electricity wound around its body and sword issued endless whistling cries. How could there be a sword 90 miles deep in the Thunder Dominion? Although the sword was far away and also massed behind an amazing power of thunder, Lin Ming could still judge that the grade of this sword was unbelievably high. It might even be a saint rank artifact. Lin Ming felt this was more and more mind-boggling. This sort of divine sword would never be randomly abandoned in the Thunder Dominion. 
Was it possible that some divine sea supreme elder entered the Thunder Dominion and died here, leaving behind his sword? As Lin Ming was dreaming up all these thoughts, his perception swept over the divine sword's hilt. Then, he became shocked. On top of the sword hilt was clearly engraved an ancient and mysterious design, as if it were a bird totem. And, this mysterious totem was completely identical to the goddess Jade pendant from the eternal demon Abyss as well as the young girl from the Forsaken God Clan. Was this a sword left behind by the goddess? No, Lin Ming shook his head. The goddess had been sleeping deep within the Emerald Demon Abyss. She was entombed billions of miles far from here. Not just that, but she had also been buried along with a weapon. A long spear? It was only a pity that the spear had been damaged and broken so that it had lost all of its energy. Because of the sharp contrast formed by that incomparably soft and beautiful young woman as well as the tower spear, it had led a deep impression upon Lin Ming. Since the goddess weapon was a spear, this sword was unlikely to be hers. As his eyes moved down, Lin Ming found that there were also two words inscribed onto the sword hilt. These words were actually written in the language of the realm of the gods. Argent White. Argent White Sword? Lin Ming knew that this sword was likely a saint artifact. Although he couldn't clearly identify its rank, he could tell that its value was no less than the cosmic melting furnaces. Lin Ming watched on at the competition between the Argent White Sword and the Purple Lion. It was better said that the two had been in a showdown to begin with and he had stumbled his way in, becoming an uninvited guest to their party. As he remembered the fear in the Purple Lion's roars, was it possible that it feared this masterless sword? For a sword to be able to threaten a thunder source, that was an incomparably bizarre matter. A human body could be burnt by the power of thunder, but a sword could not. However, if a sword were to gain intelligence then it would either have to have a sword soul or a battle spirit attached to it. But, these things could be erased by a thunder source. This argent white sword clearly had intelligence, but the thunder source obviously wasn't able to do anything against the sword. After this confrontation continued for half an incense stick of time, the purple lion finally flinched first and began to withdraw. It turned to Lin Ming and deeply stared at him before flying away. It was a bad idea to confront two enemies at once, and Lin Ming also had a peculiar energy around his body that the purple lion feared. The argent white sword didn't chase and Lin Ming naturally wouldn't chase either. Although he did wish to subdue this thunder source for his own use, he knew that with his current strength it was impossible to contend with even the weakest thunder source. Thus, Lin Ming and the Argent White Sword were left together, distantly facing each other. Lin Ming hesitated for a moment before cautiously approaching this Argent White Sword. This sword began emitting a keening howl, overflowing with killing intent as it sent obvious warnings towards Lin Ming. This sort of response was within Lin Ming's expectations. He took out an Azure Jade Pendant and wore it. This was the Goddess's Jade Pendant. The sword had a mind of its own, it immediately recognized the energy from this Jade Pendant. It trembled for a moment, then suddenly reversed, shooting in the opposite direction. Lin Ming followed without hesitation. In that brief contact just now he could feel that there was terrifying martial arts will attached to the sword blade. This martial arts will had fused together with the sword soul, enabling it to touch upon the concept of immortality, as if it would never rust or weaken with the passage of time. The sword instantly flew a dozen miles away, passing through endless lightning. Lin Ming tread on golden rock shattering the void, not daring to fall a single step behind. Luckily, he had just completed tempering his body with lightning. Otherwise, if he were to try flying this fast in the 90-mile Thunder Dominion and ran into any bit of lightning, he would instantly vaporize without even ash remaining. After a dozen breaths of time, a floating island appeared in front of Lin Ming. It was completely similar to the islands with the magnetic god trees that he had seen before, except that it was floating in the 90-mile region of the Thunder Dominion and not the 100-mile region. The island was covered with a distorted force field, like a thin eggshell was protecting the entire island. There was a 1,000-foot-high hill at the end of the island. The argent white sword easily broke through the force field and flew into a cave in the hillside. Lin Ming followed close behind. He gripped his red spear and poured the power of thunder fire into it. His spear pierced through the force field and he flew towards the cave. As Lin Ming approached the cave, he could feel a vast and lofty atmosphere blowing out from within, as if an unrivaled emperor dwelled there. Is this the cave mansion of a peerless powerhouse? This thought flashed through Lin Ming's mind. With great respect in his heart he slowly stepped into the cave. The cave was filled with the taste of endless years, as if it had already passed through a very long time. Just several steps in, Lin Ming discovered that there was a stone tablet standing up from the ground. The letters carved upon it were in the language of the realm of the gods. The exquisite curving silver letters lingered with a sharp sword intent, making the heart palpitate. With sword in hand, I defy the universe, I defy samsara. If fate will not accommodate my clan then I shall break the shackles of fate. If the heavens will not accommodate my clan then I shall go against heaven's will and cut down all immortals. This short phrase, just a few dozen words, was overflowing with an unyielding will. If fate will not accommodate my clan then I shall break the shackles of fate. If the heavens will not accommodate my clan then I shall go against heaven's will and cut down the immortals. This was indeed the curse of the so-called forsaken god clan. 